I think safe settings, we know a lot about set and setting. I mean, the, the idea that psychedelics are amplify what you have in your mind. So if you are if you have just had a bad argument with a, a good friend of yours and you ingest a psychedelic, that bad argument with your good friend is going to be amplified enormously. And it's probably going to be somewhat of a rough experience initially. Maybe you'll work through what that argument was about, but it's certainly not ideal. So the whole, whole idea of centering yourself, of developing a, an intention before you engage in a mind-altering practice, it's the same as if you would do before a meditation practice. People before meditation will orient their mind toward that practice through remembering the lineage. They will do many things that, that, that orients their mind into the purpose of what they're doing. So there's many, many techniques to orient our purpose and develop our intention. If that's done, then that's the set. That's the mental set that we're taking into the experience. The setting would be, is this a conducive setting to support a beneficial experience? If it's protected, if there's not going to be interruptions, if there's people around that are very experienced, if there's knowledgeable people that can intervene if I would like some help or like some guidance. It's like having a guide. If we have someone with us when we're ex experiencing a new state of mind who knows that territory, they can assist us, they can calm us, they can help us relax. So these are the types of things that, that can allow for an, an altered state to be very beneficial. And sometimes it's important to really experience a difficult to re-experience something that was difficult for us from the past. And if we can do that with guidance and help, we can work that through. We can actually relax and allow that experience to arise and allow that experience to be resolved. But that doesn't happen if we don't have support, if we don't have guidance.